Humans of the Cardboard, welcome back to Just Nuts, guys. Today, we are looking at uh, the next deck build pack artworks. I told you this was gonna happen in the next like one or two weeks. We got it in like a couple days. Um, but yeah, these are the artworks for the next deck build pack, at least one uh, card art pretty much revealed that's supposed to give you a hint as to what's going on here and also a little bit of text telling us uh, a little bit of extra information there, more so lure-wise, lore? lore wise uh more so than like card effects or anything but it's always fun to speculate it's always fun to see the first artworks because people a lot of people like our Ar uh, archetypes based on uh the aesthetics and then um if they you know actually work a way they want then then even better icing on the cake so uh before we jump into this um i was thinking about doing like uh a, actually a deck build pack kind of like tier list video um just based on how good the archetypes have been in each uh in each deck build pack because there's there's like less than 20 of them we only get like one or two of these a year so pretty cool anyway tactical masters here we go let's get into this thing starting off here we have this picture right here this is the valiant archetype apparently it is of pendulum monsters who's t who team up into units i don't know exactly what that's going to mean but uh yeah um pretty cool stuff i mean looking at the artwork they're they're cool they're almost like futuristic kind of like ninja type situation here um which is pretty cool um this guy kind of reminds me of that one character from samurai 7 that uses like that giant red metal sword and she's got some harry potter shenanigans going on it's a little bit updated technology wise but she does have like the broom that i assume she likes to fly on so pretty cool i'll be curious to see where they go as far as these units go pendulum archetypes are always interesting i like to keep an eye out on them um, I don't tend to love pendulum archetypes, but there are a couple specific ones, Zephyrus, Magispector, and Metal Foes being like the three main ones that I actually particularly like the most because they do play a little more pure. They do feel like an archetype instead of like, oh, just generic pendulum good stuff bullshit. So yeah, uh, cool. Good start there. Next up, we have our next archetype here. This is the Labyrinth theme. Notice that it's spelled weird. They talk a little bit about that here. Uh, note that this is not a typo yet. This is not the exact spelling of the word labyrinth in Japan, and from the art, the name may also be mixed with Labrys, or uh, another uh, is the name for the weapon that she's holding here. Uh, it's kind of like a sexy looking spear. Um, and then love because of all the hearts and maybe some extra puns, so we're going with labyrinth for the moment. Very cool. Uh, let's take a little bit of a closer look here. She looks really cool. Of course, we've seen archetypes like this end up in deck build packs. We saw Witchcrafters not too long ago. Definitely get some of those vibes here. Almost Rika vibes as well, um, which is a deck build pack from last year. Uh, pretty cool. I mean, I'm, I'm sure this is going to be the waifu-esque one, but uh, it's important to note that this, li this is listed as a boss monster that waits at the end of the labyrinth, uh, which makes me think it won't, it may not even be all, um, all like a waifu deck it may just be like she's the boss monster at the end of the labyrinth and then maybe there's some protective cards like if your opponent has to go through the labyrinth to get to the boss monster and then defeat the boss monster to beat the strategy so i'm thinking of something like a uh, like a helmet type strategy but who knows um we'll see um but cool also cool and then you get to the last one which is like by far to me the most intriguing one of the bunch this theme is called rune apparently um and the 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 sentence the phrase we get here is a mysterious radiance that bestows a variety of powers insanely vague but just on the artwork i'm wondering like is this a spell a trap I, it doesn't look like a monster to me, but we've seen other statue. I mean, we have the barrier statues. So we have like other statue-esque monster cards uh, to work here. Uh, as far as the name goes though, this is a forced reading of the kanji name, which is composed of divine and monument and or tombstone. This combination could otherwise uh, probably be read as shinpi, which is a common word for mystery written as divine plus secret and it's in fact being used in the description of the theme. We're going with the forced reading of a rune, which already exists in other cards. So there may be a possibility of name changes to something else because of uh, just so that you don't have cards with uh, the same archetype names for searching effects and whatnot. Uh, but very interesting. Um, taking a closer look here at the artwork, 
very very cool um this kind of gives me what is that one card it's like the one card that summons like a fiend token um it kind of reminds me this kind of reminds me of that this kind of reminds me of like the kind of archetype that would be more closely related to something like the brave token archetype right where it's not it doesn't really feel like an archetype where it's like based around certain monsters and everything works together you, your your deck is kind of based around a card that generates a token so your deck's just kind of based around a token this i wouldn't be surprised if we end up in the same realm here or more of just like a splashable engine right like brave tokens are they don't feel like a fully fleshed out archetype they just kind of feel like a a nice splashable engine this uh, could probably fall under that category i if it did i wouldn't be surprised is all i'm really saying there but really really cool just based off the artworks um I, these guys are fine i really want to see what they do first before i make any other judgments there um this one depending on where they go with it could be cool like i liked rika's um and I like Witchcrafters, so um, we'll see. Like, we'll see where, where they go with this one. Uh, but I don't particularly, like, I'm not in love with the, the first artwork. And then this one is, like, again, like, it's just good. We're just going to have to see what kind of little, like, ar archetype it is. But really cool stuff. They look different. They're unique. It's deck build packs. They're some of my favorite packs because um, core sets, usually we get one, maybe two archetypes and in a very rare situation and usually it requires a TCG exclusive archetype. We could get three new archetypes in a core set. But other than that, usually it's one or two. And so I like deck build packs because it guarantees us three brand new full on archetypes with, you know, 10 to 13 cards in it right out the gate. And um, I really like that. So um, the last one wasn't too good, uh, and well, I'll say, so um, what is it? Grand Creators is fine. Brave Token seems to be the only one that actually is going to have substance competitively, and before that, an Ancient ancient Guardians. Yeah, Ancient Guardians, none of the three really made it to competitive rele relevancy. So we'll see what happens here. It feels like we're pretty due for like a good deck build pack archetype, like a really good one, not just something like a little splashable engine like Brave Token, um, but we'll see. So that's going to do it for here today, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below, just based off of the artwork and the little sentence of description there, let me know which one you're most excited for, or maybe just some thoughts you have on what you're feeling from them, what you think they might go, like what direction they might go with each archetype. I'd be curious to hear you guys' thoughts down below, but uh, really cool. Yeah, so drop that in the comment section down below. I'll see you in the next one. Subscribe if you have not yet and you want to see more videos like this one down uh, later on the line. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.